First, I want to say thank you to Thames and Cosmos for sending us this product for free. Greetings, everyone. This is your toy commander. And are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I. Okay, kids, before we start today's video, I have a little uh, service announcement from our friend Zeke. What? Alright boys and girls, it's me, Zeep, and I do have a message for you. Even though we're going to be making some candy today, I do recommend that you don't eat too much candy because it will rot your teeth. And make sure you brush after you eat some candy. Alright, that's all. Bye-bye. Alright kids, let me ask you, who likes candy? That's right, we do, but we do have to remember not to eat too much of the candy because it can rot your teeth, like Zeep said. So, today we have the Groovy Glowing Candy Lab. Ooh. And this is a STEM experiment kit, which means it's science, technology, engineering, and math. We're going to make your own Groovy Glowing Gummies, and it also includes a UV flashlight Whoa. to light up your gummies. Plus, make gummy ice cubes and glowing hard candy. Wow. Now, this is safe, natural riboflavin, huh? vitamin B2 that makes them glow. And today's flavors are tropical pineapple and fruit punch candy mix. Let's look at the back. And on the back, it shows you, hey, candy chemist, set the world aglow with peace happiness and good times make yummy candies that actually glow in the dark and here are all the contents which we will be taking out in one minute and it also includes a 16 page full color manual all right so what are we waiting for let's start making some candy all right let's open up our groovy glowing candy lab and see what we have here is our full page color manual and right here are some stickers and wrappers for your candies. Here's the plastic gummy mold sheets piece. There's some happy signs, there's some peace sign, ice cream, a light bulb, butterfly. And this one says love, 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 love. love, love, love. All right, let's take out the rest. We have some extra bags here. That's probably because we're gonna make some candy. Here is our UV flashlight so we can see all these things glow in the dark. Does it need a battery? Yeah. Yes, it does. We'll check that out in one minute. Let's put the boxes aside and let's open up this packet of our ingredients. Here is our glowing tropical pineapple sugar. Here is our glowing fruit punch sugar. This packet here is gelatin mixture. And then right here, this is that sour mix that makes your mouth go, whoa. That's right. Before we start making our candy, we're going to need this handy little mat just so we don't make a mess on our table. Okay, we can keep the mess all right on this mat. Alright, so on the first page is some safety information. Make sure that you have adult supervision while performing your candy experiments. And then we have the ingredients, some first aid information, some safety rules, advice to parents and supervising adults. <gasps> We don't need to go through all that. Here's all the kit contents, and then hey, candy chemists, we already read that. So let's get busy with our making of our glow candies. There are three experiments here. We have this experiment, which makes fruit punch and tropical pineapple glowing gummies. We have the experiment number two, that glowing ice cubes, and number three, it's hard candy that glows. We're gonna have time to do only one of these experiments today. I think we should do the gummies. Yeah. Okay, I have some additional things here we're going to need. A small glass bowl, some water, a measuring spoon, a toothpick, and a spoon. All right, let's get on to our first step. It's step number one says it's easier to remove the gummies perfectly from the molding tray if you oil the mold trays beforehand. I have some cooking spray which will do the trick so the gummies come out nice and easily. Let's do that first. Okay, step number two, cut open the flavor sugar mixture packet with scissors. Oh boy, let's see. So, 
glowing tropical pineapple. That's the one we're gonna use right here. Uh-oh, I think we need our friend, Mr. Alligator Scissors. Here he comes. Oh, hey guys. So, uh, you need my help today? Yeah, we need you to cut open this uh, plastic bag here to make some candy. Whoa, make some candy? I'll definitely help you out. Here you go, buddy. All right. Thanks, Alligator Scissors. Oh, I haven't seen him in a while. He's been missing for a long time. All right, so we're going to need three tablespoons of this mixture. What? This is one tablespoon. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Step number four, cut open the gelatin mixture packet with scissors. All right, one more time, Mr. Alligator Scissors. Here you go, guys. Yo. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Step number five says measure one level tablespoon of gelatin mixture and put it into the bowl. All right. We're going to take one tablespoon. On to number six. Stir the dry mixture with a spoon until it's completely blended. Crush any clumps with the spoon. All right, here we go. Here we go, everything is nice and mixed together. Step number seven. Measure four tablespoons of water and put it into the bowl. Now we need to mix it up until everything is dissolved. Step number nine says place the bowl in a microwave. Heat the mixture in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. Watch it carefully. As soon as the mixture bubbles, stop and take it out. You will need oh, no. adult supervision for this step number nine. Now careful, the glass could be hot. Oh no! Let's bring it up to the studio and pour it into our mold. Okay, now that we have our warm candy mixture, let's put it into the trays, which is step number 10. And then on 11, we're going to put this into the refrigerator for 10 minutes. Check them. If they are not solidified yet, put them back in the refrigerator. Here we go. Let's start filling up our molds. Cool. Now it's time to bring them to the refrigerator and let them cool. Yeehaw! Okay, so the candies are in the fridge and while they are cooling down, let's take a quick look at some of the other experiments. Here's the glowing ice cubes. Here's the glowing hard candy. What else glows? Use a UV flashlight to find different things that glow. And then what causes candies to glow? It's vitamin B2. Here is the light spectrum. Here's some information on that. It can really learn some cool stuff about atoms, electrons, and photons there. Here's glow sticks. Everybody loves those to have around Halloween. When we trick or treat, how we see light, color mixing. Look at all this information here, gelatin. The phases of matter is the last page. So let's put our batteries in the flashlight. Go check on our gummies and put them in the dark room and see them glow and then the best part comes we get to eat them so we will need one triple a battery okay kids our gummies are all ready but before we take them out and eat them let's go check them out and see how they glow on step number 12 out of 15 so we have four more steps here let's remove the gummies and then we will use our sour mix and we'll make half sour and half regular so first I'm going to add some of this sour mix that's all you need is just a little bit and now let's take some of the gummies out and put them in the bag and then we'll shake the bag up
Just look how awesome those came out. Now my favorite part of the video, and I brought in a special friend to help with the tasting today. This is Little Z from our other YouTube channel, Toy Daycare. You want to give him a try, Little Z? Absolutely, Toy Commander. <laughs> All right, choose one. I'll take the ice cream cone. I'll take the smiley face. Let's try. Whoa, they dissolve in your mouth. So tasty. Okay, so now you can put some of your gummies in a bag and put one of these cool stickers on there. And then you can give them to your friends. Hey kids, that's it for today's video with the groovy glowing candy lab. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your toy commander signing off and I will see you on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.